I have brought supplies. You have? Oh, I'm salivating already. I brought you some bread. You got your hands on fresh bread? Whoa. Now that doesn't look too fresh. It's all Cinder had. I could take it back. No, no, no. I'll take it. Thank you. They don't normally send bread. What did you pay for it? Cinder gave it to me. Wow. You must have sweet-talked her. I normally get hard biscuits. She said I could take it. <laughs> well, about time we got a break. That should see our stomachs full. Thank you. Here. Uh, that should pay for it, right? Yes, that is a fair amount. Thank you again. You've done us a real favor. Everyone here will appreciate it. What are you doing? You're scaring away everything within a day's walk. You crash around like that, you'll scare off anything you can eat, 
and attract everything that wants to make a meal of you. I don't know these forests. That's as plain as a horny troll in your sleeping sack. You'd better learn quick if you want to stay alive. You're scaring away the prey that is my livelihood. It's hard enough bringing in the food I have to without some big-footed oaf crashing through the forest. Still, seeing as you aren't a natural hunter, maybe you'd like to buy some goods from me. What do you have to trade? You're a hunter? Yeah, I found my place. This is where I belong, with nature and for nature. I want nothing to do with Goliath. Why not? Too much talking, too much bullshit. Out here, peace. But you look like a talker. Is that why you're here, to talk? A berserker was killed. The body was found in the forest. The forest is a dangerous place. You didn't like it, Escort. I didn't put myself in a position where I needed to. Little shit won't be missed. Sounds like you had a grudge. I think most people are assholes. You only ask me about Ascor. The berserker who was murdered was called Ascor. Did you know him? Ascor? That asshole? Yeah, I knew him. I kept out of his way. He kissed Ragnar's ass and treated everyone else like rot bore shit. Sociable guy, aren't you? Sociable just means happy to talk shit. I don't talk shit. When were you last in the forest by Goliath? I don't know. Not for a year. This is the best area for hunting, and all Goliath cares about is me filling my quota. As long as I send them meat and fur, I can stay out here away from small talk and politics. Do you always hunt with a bow? A bow? Traps? You should always try and kill at a distance. Learn that, and you will live longer. I'm here to feed berserkers, not the creatures. What's with all these questions? Is some asshole trying to pin this on me? I'm questioning anyone I meet out here. If you want an alibi for me, you'll have to go out there and speak to the raptors. Is that your only alibi? I'm a hunter. You want to know where I am? I'm always here in the forest. Ascor's murder. I don't think Baron did it. Ascor was his friend, and Baron just wants to be left alone. I don't see why he'd murder anyone. All right. Even though he knew Ascor better than most, yeah, you're right. He doesn't have the energy or the motive. Frankly, I only think Ragnar wanted Baron questioned in case he had seen anything. It looks like he didn't. Let's take him off the list for now. Garen just wants to hunt. He didn't like Ascor, but I don't think he killed him. Besides, if he had killed Ascor, he'd have used his bow, not a sword. Yeah, all Garen wants is to hunt. He'd have no motive for this. It's not conclusive, but I don't think it was him. I agree. I don't think it was him either. Let's take him off the list. Yerdor didn't have time to commit a murder. He 
he's tending to the world hard and looking after supplies. Besides, he's just too weak to have killed Asgore in the way you described. Yes, I agree. I don't think Iridor was capable of this. That's one less suspect for us. You're making good progress. I'll keep Ragnar informed. someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. What's that you're hiding there? What are you talking about? There, on your arm. What is that? It's an adjuder. Haven't you seen one before? I've seen one. I've seen several. It's Elix technology, and that sort of device is forbidden to berserkers here in Goliath. Carrying a piece like that openly on your arm could get you into trouble. I'm not carrying it. It's an implant. An implant? Well, that gives you a reason for not removing it. Well, you don't look like an owl. Too much color in your cheeks, too much shine in your eyes. That and you've not tried to kill me. Still, best you know that should you find any other Elix technology on your travels, you should take it to the pit for disposal. I have some cleric weapons for you. Now that is a find. Now to get the Elix out of these things. First have to remove the cover from the holder and... Are you going to give me all the details? No, no, your work is done. And thank you. How do you get anything done without technology? We haven't rejected technology completely. We have rejected Elix technology. And as you can see around you, we have done fine without it. A clean life. Life as it was before the comet. Life grown from mana. Now, that's a better use for Elix than building devices. So, we collect technology, extract the Elix from it, and throw the scrap into the pit. The pit? That's where we take all forbidden technology. Once the Elix has been extracted there, it goes to the mana shrine, and the junk left over goes down into the pit. We cure the soil of Elix's poison and use it for healing. You will find our healers on the upper ring. They'll show you how we use its power. If Elix is so bad, why do you trade using Elixit? You mean, why not turn it into mana? It's Elix, isn't it? Yes, but the concentration in it is just too low to produce mana. Maybe one day we'll manage it, but until then... It's useful. Everyone spends it, so we do too. I'm glad it's the Pilgrim and the Warlord who have to decide all these things. It makes my head hurt. So, you won't be confiscating my Alexit? Oh, we need as much of it as possible to buy the things we need. So please, trade while you're here. So if you need Elix, why do you want to get rid of it? Ah. Amrex Paradox. We are told Elix is the center of all ills in the world, and yet it is also the cure. So we collect it, transmute it, and hope we can win the race against those who would use it for destruction. You could help us with that. You want me to collect Elix? You must have seen that monster made of metal that sits on the horizon? That alb converter? What about it? 
Alves built it to refine Elix here in Adan, but our warriors forced them to abandon it. That machine is a thing abhorrent to nature, but we can make use of it. Well, of the Elix in it. Amrex Paradox. Let's take that horror and make it magic. It won't be an easy task, but I need to get some parts from the converter that have a high Elix concentration in them. Can you do that? And if I get caught bringing Elix into Goliath? You have my absolute word that this is official business. I told you, we need this. Amrek and the Pilgrim agree. Magic is nature's cure. Technology, its curse. The world hearts will purify Magalan without the need for machines. It's up to us to tidy up the mess that those machines have already made. Why not do this and use technology? You sound like one of those technophiles, looking forward and not knowing their history. Listen, there are books from the Great Fall that say there were other ways to power machines, but that most of them poisoned the air and the soil. And so, Amrik and the Forefathers decreed that all technology that poisoned our world should be forbidden. And, right at the time machines were forsworn, and we started to make Magalan pure again, mana was given to us. Magic is nature's reward for our rejection of technology. And if you have magic, why would you want technology? So, the Albs pump Elix into themselves, the clerics feed it to machines, and we transmute it into magic. Surely, technology makes life easier. Such is temptation. The Albs take Elix. They get stronger, but what have they become? Victorious. They're beating you. In the short term. They don't even know what they're fighting for. How can they ever be victorious if they let themselves become machines? They have a love of Elix, a need for it, but as to why? If we knew that, perhaps we could talk with them. But they have retreated into Zaycor, only to be seen when they come to kill. And they're changing, becoming less human. While our mana helps us cast magic, it's toxic to the Alps. But Alps can cast magic. Yes, yes, now there is something I don't understand. I will get you the converter parts you want. Good. Great. Thank you. Be careful, though. Last guy we sent disappeared. He promised he'd be back quickly. Never seen again.
getting here alive. Are you a sentry here? Yes. My name is Thorgal. Just stay clear of the world hot while you're here, then we'll get along fine. There won't be any shit, okay? Anything happening around here that I should know about? I don't know. We don't have the manpower to patrol outside the Palisade. It's pretty dangerous out there. You'll need to keep an eye open. There are plenty of ambush sites. What are you doing here? Take a wild guess. The large plant should give you a clue. We spend a lot of blood protecting this world heart. Lives of the present to build a future for us all. Your post seems undermanned. Ragnar sent the men we could spare. I sent some of them with one of our cultivators to a farm near the domed city. We thought they would be able to drum up some supplies for us, but instead they've disappeared. It can't be good that they aren't back yet. It's bad enough that the group is missing, but Rock, our cultivator, is gone too. I really need Rock to help me look after the World Heart. He's the expert. I can look for this missing cultivator. You would? That would be helpful. But be careful. There has to be a reason why he hasn't returned yet, and you might just walk into it. The farm Rock went to is below the Dome City. You should look for him there. Ascor is dead. Dead? What the hell happened to him? He was murdered. Damn. I knew it. He was just too ambitious. Can you think of anyone who might have done it? Me? No. Well, not specifically. He's ambitious. He was ambitious. He always wanted to become a paladin. Last I heard he was due to be tested by Ragnar along with some other candidates. Passing that test was all he ever wanted. So, what do you think got him murdered? I don't know. Ascor was a good man. Well, he was to me. But he could wind people up. Maybe he got the wrong person pissed with him. Maybe someone else was as ambitious as him. You knew Ascor well? Yeah, I asked if he could come out here on this assignment. But he stayed back in Goliath so he could take the warrior test. When did you last see Ascor? Just over three months ago. Not long before I came out here. How long have you been away from Goliath? Just over three months. Since then, I've been here, trying to survive in the beautiful islands of Abessa. <laughs> trying to manage an outpost with too few people and too few supplies. And you have witnesses to your whereabouts? Yeah. More if we can find that missing supply team. This camp by the World Heart is where I've been, and this is where I'll stay until the Warlords order me back. You must be good with a sword to have got posted out here. Not good enough to hit someone in a dam from here, if that's what you mean. It's obvious you didn't do it. Yeah, well, I hope you'll find who did. I think Ragnar must just have wanted you eliminated from suspicion. He said to question me? Yes, Duras told me. Duras? Well, he's a man who stands by his duty. I hope the two of you find the murderer. I'm working on it. Look into whoever might have been a rival for Asker. That's my advice.